Tonight is the announcement of the winners. First and foremost, for those who don't know me, uh, I'm Glenn Churchill, councillor with the Gladstone Regional Council and proudly the chair of our Regional Arts Development Fund. So on behalf of the Gladstone Regional Council and our community, I extend a warm and friendly welcome to each and every one of you here this evening at the Gladstone Region Art Gallery and Museum. Before I proceed, I would like to take the opportunity to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet, the Baili, Garang Garang, Garang, and the Tarabalong Bunda people. I also pay respects to elders, past, present, and emerging. And I also extend that respect to any Aboriginal Torres Strait Island people that are present here this evening or in the live streaming that is occurring. Can I say as part of that official welcome, I welcome all the sponsors, VIPs, our judge, our wonderful judge, Sue Smith, council staff and volunteers, and of course, our many live stream viewers. Welcome to the virtual world. I do have a number of apologies, but in the essence of time, I might just highlight a couple of them, please, if you wouldn't mind, with your permission. First and foremost, Glenn Butcher, Member for Gladstone, Assistant Minister for Treasury, the Mayor, Councillor Matt Burnett, and a number of councillors who were unable to be here due to COVID compliance requirements. The CEO of the Gladstone Regional Council, Lisa Dowling, and also our General Manager for Community Development and Events, Kylie Lee. There are other apologies, and I extend that apologies on behalf of everybody. I'd also like to take the opportunity to acknowledge Cameron Kurd. You would have seen Mr Cameron Kurd on the way in, twinkling the ivories. And Cameron, uh, in essence, is the manager and curator of this wonderful art gallery and museum. And he had taken up this position November 2019 after having spent eight years in the Museum of South Taranaki, New Zealand as their district archivist. I'd also like to take the opportunity to acknowledge the Deputy Mayor, Khan Goodluck, fellow councillor Natalia Musket, and also past Mayor Gail Sellers. I'd just like to ask if you could join with me very briefly to show our appreciation to Mr. Cameron Kurd for the wonderful entertainment that he provided for us on the way in, please. Thank you, Cameron. Some important information for you to note. This event is being filmed and it's live streamed to Facebook. There will be additional videos and photographs captured during the evening and they will be used for future promotion of these prestigious awards. Can you please note, and as you would witness here tonight, we have social distancing. Uh, but that uh, doesn't mean that we have to be antisocial. However, in light of saying that, we have implemented COVID safe procedures. And I do have a tape measure in my back pocket, and I will be going around from time to time taking the little measurements just to see whether you are encroaching on those restrictions. I see lots of smiles. These precautionary steps are in place for all of us to stay COVID safe, and aren't we blessed in this wonderful region and central Queensland? But also at the same time, to ensure that this significant annual event could be successfully delivered, and I believe that that will be the case. I'd also like to ask you in advance to show your appreciation to the staff and the volunteers of the Gladstone Region Art Gallery and Museum for their wonderful efforts to be able to bring this to fruition. Please join with me. And whilst at the same time we could not be open to the general public and our event capacity is limited by COVID compliance, our live stream does allow everyone to enjoy tonight's event. I do know, I have had some information through, that there are many hundreds out there at the moment. So if you wanted to turn around, each and every one of you, and wave to those wonderful people out there as you show them that you are being COVID compliant. 
be assured that those in attendance here at the Gladstone Region Art Gallery and Museum are practising social distancing. And we have two lecterns this year, which in fact will be sanitised between speakers. So after each speaker, there will be a sanitising of the lectern to my left, and from time to time they may come and sanitise me, I think. <laughs> no. In light of saying that, uh, as I said before, social distancing is being adhered to, but please make sure that we can be as social as we possibly can because tonight is an important night for the announcement of the winners. I'd like to take the opportunity now to introduce Councillor Khan Goodluck, Deputy Mayor, and, and Khan coming forward will have the opportunity to thank everybody involved and most importantly, the sponsors every year. Khan, good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land upon which we meet here tonight, the Gurang, the Gurang Gurang, the Bayili and the Terebalang Budda people, and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. I'd also like to acknowledge uh, my colleagues, our MC, Councillor Glenn Churchill, and also uh, Councillor Natalia Muscat, who joins us here tonight. And uh, I would acknowledge uh, General Manager Mark Gilmore of Rio Tinto, all of our special guests, our staff and our volunteers and our artists uh, and everyone who, who joins us on the live stream. I'd also like to acknowledge former Mayor Gail Sellers who joins us here tonight as well. Welcome everyone to the 45th anniversary of the Rio Tinto Martin Hansen Memorial Arts Awards. I think we can all safely say that this is the most eagerly anticipated arts awards for central Queensland and it's a certainly uh, a major highlight on our community's cultural calendar. This year, as we navigate our way through the most catastrophic health pandemic in living memory, the world has become a more isolated, more solitary, and for many people, a more lonely place. Tonight, I think it's worth taking the opportunity to remember the impact that this year has had on the arts industry, which has been decimated as the world experiences lockdowns and isolations and social distancing becomes the norm. Naturally, this is a situation that is not complementary to the arts industry, which operates almost exclusively from public spaces and with public gatherings. But as you'd expect from the kind of creative and imaginative minds we find in the arts sector, the industry has responded with ingenuity, utilising live streaming, social media platforms and other online tools to connect with people. Art is the expression of human creative skill and imagination, be it through music, dance, literature, painting, and appreciated for its beauty and or its emotional power. It is an expression of ourselves, a release of our innermost inhibitions, a projection of deep thoughts or emotions, and often connects us with people in ways we might never otherwise have imagined that we would be able to connect with. Whether we realise it or not, during this unprecedented time of confinement, our connection to each other through art has become more central to all of our lives. These awards are the principal annual event for the Gladstone Regional Art Gallery and Museum, and many, many months of work goes into preparing uh, for this big night. A big thank you to our team of dedicated uh, gallery and museum staff and all of our volunteers who put in hours and hours and hours of work making sure that this exhibition is another outstanding display. We are surrounded by inspiring and innovative artworks and I would like to thank the artists for their ongoing support each year in entering their awards. Without your commitment and love of the arts, we would not have such a fantastic exhibition. I congratulate you all tonight, especially those from our local arts community. Thank you for your time and effort and for your courage in entering such a fierce competition. You all certainly represent our region very well. I would also like to give a special thanks to our judge this year, Ms Sue Smith, for accepting our invitation to judge the competition. In addition to the difficulty uh, to the difficult job, sorry, of judging the awards. She will also deliver a floor talk, as well as an illustrated lecture in an alternate way this year, virtually, at a date yet to be confirmed. So please keep an eye on the Gallery and Museum website. Generous sponsorship and years of commitment from individuals, business and our local industry 
make these arts awards possible every year. Thank you again for the opportunity to host these awards in 2020, and we look forward to your continued support well into the future. I'd like to thank our major sponsors, Rio Tinto and Queensland Illumina Limited, our gold sponsors, the Gladstone Regional Council, the Gladstone Area Water Board, Australia Pacific LNG, operated by ConocoPhillips, Queensland Energy Resources Limited and Newprint HRG, our silver sponsors, Multitrade, Mr Leo and Mrs Elizabeth Zazino, Mrs Gail Sellers, the Gladstone Regional Council, Councillor Natalia Muscat, 4CC, Southern Cross Osterio, our bronze sponsors, Mrs Lorene Tachik, Gladstone Pictures Framing and Supplies, Creative Gladstone Region Inc, CQ University, Crow Street Creative Inc and our event hosts, the Gladstone Regional Council, the Gladstone Regional Art Gallery and Museum. Thank you to all, every person who's joining us tonight, be it in the gallery or online, and to all of your support for our local artists throughout our region and abroad. We always love how many people uh, are so eager to come and check out this uh, event e each year. It really contributes to the large success uh, that the event has. And of course, thank you to all the artists with works on display, as I'm sure everyone will get around, and, and everyone on the live stream is welcome to come and, and take part in this fantastic exhibition over the coming weeks. We appreciate you are eagerly awaiting tonight's results, and uh, I'd like to congratulate everyone on their efforts and wish each and every one of you the very best of luck. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for that, Khan. We appreciate that uh, motivational presentation. Thank you, Khan. And now's the opportunity to introduce uh, Mr. Mark Gilmore, uh, Rio Tinto General Manager, to officially open the exhibition. As Mark makes his way forward, I will give a brief overview as such. Mark is the General Manager of Rio Tinto Yarwin, having spent almost 20 years working within the industry right across the Anglo's precious metal refinery and their base metal refinery. Mark has been very busy with his family exploring the greater reaches of the Gladstone region. He has concentrated on working closely with the Gladstone community and we applaud him for his continued and strong partnership with Rio Tinto for these awards and for other aspects that make a difference to the lives of people within our community. I do know Mark is an advocate for our destination but I also know that he's a strong ambassador for the arts. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Mark Gilmore. Thank you very much, Glenn. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honour for me to be here this evening. Um, I'd like to, first and foremost, uh, pay my respects and acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land on which our, this evening's event takes place. The Bali, the Gurang, the Gurang Gurang, and the Terribaling Banda nations who are the trad traditional custodians of this land. I also pay respect to the past, present, and emerging elders. <clears throat> Furthermore, I'd like to recognize um, Deputy Mayor, Councillor Khan Goodluck, representing uh, Mayor Matt Burnett, Councillor Glenn Churchill, Councillor Natalia Muscat, um, Cameron Kurd, Curator of the Gladstone Regional Art Gallery and Museum, and last but not least, this year's Rio Tinto Martin Hansen Awards Judge, Sue Smith. As General Manager of Rio Tinto, I'm absolutely thrilled to be here this evening and represent both Rio Tinto Yarwin and QAL, QAL, or Queensland Illumina Limited. When I spoke, to, spoke at this event in 2018, um, not long after arriving in Gladstone, um, I was absolutely amazed by the talent, the effort, and the passion that was reflected in each piece of art which is exhibited in the gallery. It made me proud that Rio Tinto and QAL were supported, or were supporters of, supporters of the um, Martin Hansen Memorial Art Award. The artworks we see here are an extension of the artists who created them, reflecting the diversity of Gladstone uh, region and beyond. It's unbelievable that we're celebrating 45 years of this incredible um, award. Gladstone 
may have changed a lot in the last 45 years. Um, and for one, um, we only but just celebrated 15 years of the refinery's existence. So there's certainly been much change in this region and in this landscape. However, having said that, what has certainly not changed, though, is the enthusiasm and passion of the artists, which is clearly reflected in the collection this year. For the past seven years, the People's Choice Awards, sponsored proudly by Queensland um, Illumina, have been a feature of this event, giving community members a chance to nominate their favorite entries. And it hasn't been uncommon to receive in excess of 1,000 entries during, during each year. Uh, the artists who receive the most community votes um, in each of the, the four categories um, each receive $500 uh, prizing, a prize or cash prize. Um, each person that votes will also go into a draw and will be eligible to win a weekend for two at Heron Island. So I encourage all of you to get up and vote for your special, your special artist. And um, there's kiosks that you can vote from, um, and they will be available this evening and throughout um, the exhi exhibition period. There's certainly a group of people here this evening that are the heavy lifters for the Martin Hansen Memorial Art Award. I want to recognize Cameron Curd and his team at the Gladstone Regional Art Gallery for creating the spectacular results we see here this evening. I also acknowledge the volunteers who spend countless hours making sure that the entries are exhibited to such a high uh, standard. It's an absolute pri privilege for Rio Tinto to be the, the, the major sponsor of these iconic awards, and it is now my absolute pleasure to de declare the 45th Rio Tinto Martin Hansen Memorial Art Exhibition officially open. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, Mark, and uh, thank you for the continued uh, corporate support as good corporate citizens for these annual awards. A lot of history, 45 years, and uh, appropriately we're going to hear a little bit more about that very shortly uh, from the next speaker. In light of saying that, I have no doubts that your comments then with some of those prizes, and I'm sure there's many other prizes to be talked about, that I know that there are a number of people on our live stream at the moment sitting at home, sipping a wine, having a coffee, a cup of tea, drinking a beer or whatever with nibblies uh, and enjoying the opportunity to hear uh, about the 45th Annual Awards but at the same time waiting with bated breath to determine whether they are going to be announced as part of those awards later on. I'd now like to take the opportunity, I'm very proud and, and honoured, in actual fact, to invite the sponsors, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Cezino, but uh, as annual sponsors. But there's more to it about the sponsorship because it's about the connection with the family and Martin Hansen. So, without further ado, I'd like to invite Mrs. Elizabeth, be it Liz Cezino, to come forward and say a few words. Please make Liz welcome. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. The Martin Hansen Memorial Art Awards are always a convivial evening, and COVID circumstances notwithstanding, it's a lovely thing to be asked to speak this evening. Thank you to all the artists who submitted their works for the awards. Your courage in honing your talents and your larger courage in sharing your works with us uplifts our spirits and challenges us, and sometimes you, to take on different perspectives. Whether your intention to show your work was realized or not, you are leading by example in inspiring those around you to take time for the inner life and to reflect what the inner life sees. That is an important social contract and we congratulate you and thank you. 
Which leads me to another group of people who are integral to that social contract. And they are the sponsors. These companies, business people, and citizens know that your work as an artist is important to you and it is important to society. And while there are many calls upon their funds, they make this event a priority. Our major sponsors of the Martin Hansen Awards, Rio Tinto, and the 17 other sponsors all deserve our thanks and our congratulations. My dad, Martin Hansen, also knew the meaning of social contract in life. Whilst he understood that economy is the foundation of prosperity, he appreciated that a vibrant community cannot develop unless it has a cultural soul. And he was an interested, joyful, and generous supporter of the Artists Club and many other associations and clubs. The son of a Swedish, mig an Irish migrant, he discovered his talent was for public work. And he, was in and he found this out at school where he was encouraged to read widely and to correspond with artists, business leaders, scientists, authors, musicians, athletes, a wide variety. This combined with his RAAF experience in New Guinea during World War II gave him a maturity beyond his years. When Dad returned to Gladstone from the war, he was elected at the age of 22 by the citizens of our town to serve on the Gladstone Port Authority, and serve on the Gladstone Harbour Board, now the Gladstone Port Authority. He had a driving vision to turn Gladstone into a city of great commerce and industry. Indeed, given our major sponsor tonight, Rio Tinto, it's fitting to note that the Harbour Board minutes of October 1957 record Marty as being, as being delegated by the board to travel to Brisbane to push Gladstone as the logical place for Camelco's alumina refinery. During Dad's parliamentary career from 1963 to his death in 1976, he worked tirelessly to ensure strong links between industry, business and community which is beautifully evident tonight. My family was thrilled that the Vibrant Artists Club of 1976 chose to name their annual awards after Dad. On this, the 45th year of the awards, we congratulate the Gladstone Regional Council for sponsoring the awards in their magnificent venue, and Cameron and the Gladstone Art Gallery staff and volunteers for presenting the awards in such a beautifully professional way. Good luck to all the artists. Sue will have your fate in hand. Thank you and congratulations to all. Good evening. Thank you very much for that, Liz. Uh, very inspiring. I'm sure we'll in, we're all inspired by that. And uh, the strong message in that, obviously, was art for the soul. But I think it's the art for the heart, and, and it's good for the mind and the body and the soul, as Marty would have been uh, driving that aspect. So congratulations. Thank you. We did offer an invite to uh, our sponsors, and appropriately, due to COVID uh, restrictions and uh, the time limiting, uh, we do have another speaker on behalf of the sponsors tonight. I'd like to invite Mr. Dave Beacon on behalf of uh, another one of the sponsors, which is Crow Street Creative Incorporated, 
to come forward to say a few words in relation to the importance of uh, the sponsors for this important prestigious event. Thank you. Please welcome Dave Beacon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'm here tonight um, representing Crow Street Creative. Um, I've been involved with um, Crow Street now for a couple of years, um, starting quite small. Um, we've had um, a lot of people come through the place. Um, and it's about what we're doing on a grassroots level is, is supporting those younger people coming through, the, the artists that want to try things, the, the people that want to do things. And we like to think that we give them a little outlet to be able to try their work, do their things, create, paint, bring the kids along, the kids get involved, everything's really good. So we start at a grassroots level. Um, here I see people in front of me here and, and also out um, in the virtual world as well on a much larger scale. The people that are the, the ones that give us the opportunity to be able to do this for the grassroots level. And with that, um, Crow Street is very, very proud and very um, happy to be, once again, um, a small sponsor in this, in this, um, in this great award. Um, we like to think that um, we, uh, we um, are moving forward and, and embracing all sorts of things that are coming our way, um, and especially now in the digital realm. It's not something when you see a band on stage or you see someone painting something that you, you necessarily associate with digital, but now digital is coming forward and we're seeing some great things that are starting to happen with that. Um, photography, um, the way people can manipulate film, and all those wonderful things. So it's, um, it's really quite humbling, to be quite honest with you, to be involved and, and seeing all these people come through and, and seeing how everyone responds to just being able to do what comes from here and from here. Um, and to be in an industrial town, I've been in industry for quite some time myself, um, and to see this that's there underneath all the other things that we see, the noise and the, and the industry, um, that this is quietly simmering away and people are really embracing what we see here tonight in this wonderful venue. And with Crow Street, we have been so generously sponsored by the Gladstone Regional Council. Uh, Glenn has been a very big supporter. Khan is a very big supporter. Everybody is a very big supporter of it. Um, and through generous grants and various funding things, um, we've been able to grow now. And now, instead of 20 people hearing about Crow Street, we've got 200 people hearing about Crow Street. And now we're starting to see regular people there. And what a great thing. How, how good is that, that we can offer this sort of thing where people can come and relax and just try and forget about some of the things that are going on? And without our sponsors and without our councillors and without all of that together and places like this where I see wonderful things on the wall here, I love art. It's just great in all forms. So um, it's just amazing and uh, we love it and Crow Street we want to be involved and hopefully next year we'll be involved again and we can uh, keep doing things that make people happy. And really at the end of the day, that's what we want is just to be happy. So, um, so thank you very much everybody and uh, we appreciate all your support and um, yeah, that's it. As you can tell, I'm not the world's greatest speaker, but that's well. all we've done. Well. So thank you very much. Thanks very much for that, Dave. Obviously, there's a message in that. Together, we are stronger. So we connect and we innovate and we diversify, and it's something that we should be extremely proud of for our region. We've now come to the major highlight for this evening's prestigious event, which is the announcement of the overall winners. And uh, in light of saying that, uh, we now arrive at the opportunity to hear from this year's official judge, uh, Mrs. Sue Smith, uh, to announce the winners, but also to give us a greater insight. And I know that you've rushed up to the lectern there, Sue, but uh, for those who are here in the Art Gallery and Museum, we have the pleasure of having your bio in the booklet. Uh, but at the same time, our respect and appreciation for the many hundreds, if not thousands by now, out there in the virtual world 
that is part of the live streaming for Facebook. So if you don't mind, Sue, I'd just like to give a brief overview of your profile so that it gives everyone a greater understanding of your experience, your knowledge, your expertise in this particular area. Sue is a renowned artist, a writer and curator. Sue has held the position of art collection manager at the Central Queensland University since August uh, 2012, after serving for nine years as director of the Rockhampton Art Gallery and manager of art services for the Rockhampton Regional Council. I've known Sue myself for many years in my advocacy with Central Queensland University, and I, and I can attest that uh, Sue is well known as an exhibiting artist as well, and her works are held in public and private collections throughout Australia. Sue has trained in the visual arts at the Queensland College of Art and also Central Queensland TAFE, has studied at the University of Queensland, where Sue had graduated in art history and also in the area of modern and ancient history. Sue's postgraduate studies at the Court Ald Institute of Art in London were all in the history of European art. Sue has over 30 years of experience in the public and private sectors of the visual arts in Australia and in England and other parts of the world. As is principal of the Graphico Queensland Art Consultancy, was, senior art critic at the Courier Mail of Brisbane, an Australian art consultant for Christie's South Kensington in London, curator of prints, drawings and photographs at the Queensland Art Gallery in Brisbane. And finally, Sue, well not finally, there's a lot more to it, but I'll uh, condense this down now. Sue has curated and coordinated many exhibitions, has done research and authored many reviews, articles, art exhibition catalogues and books on the visual arts and also on individual artists, including the National Touring Retrospective, North of Capricorn, The Art of Ray Crook, 1997, Compositions in Colour, 2012, and one that I know that Sue was extremely passionate about was the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art with the Central Queensland University Australia collection of 2019. So ladies and gentlemen, all, would you please make welcome our 2020 official judge, Sue Smith. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor Churchill, for those kind words. And um, I'd like to thank the Gladstone Council and the Gladstone Region Art Gallery and Museum for hosting me so hospitably this week. It's been a great pleasure to um, judge the awards that I know quite well uh, after seeing them many years and to also visit the city. And um, my husband and I came here early this afternoon because Michael hasn't been here for a little while and I just wanted to show him the marvellous East Shore development that you've done. It's just stunning, you know. Um, I suppose similar to what's been done at um, South Bank in Brisbane and the Strand in Townsville and other places. But as Michael said to me, such fun and so exciting to see a real harbour, a real working port and just so beautiful and vibrant, much like this exhibition. Um, I won't go on for too long because I'm sure um, everyone's keen to hear who the winners are. Um, I'd like to thank most sincerely the participating artists. It's an effort to enter something like this, to prepare your work and then to get it to the gallery. The generous sponsors, Gladstone Council, an art gallery uh, and museum, for supporting this event so important in a challenging year like this, which is really uh, been quite dreary in many respects for many of us and challenging. Um, it was good to see several high quality works worthy of the awards this year, even though the numbers were down. And I think um, we can probably put that down to the challenges that people are facing in states like New South Wales and Victoria. There's a lot to contend with and uh, difficult for people to participate in events like this. It was good to see the tremendous variety of works here, from paintings, works on paper, sculpture, craft pieces, short films, and good to see the diversity of artists. This is an event that really encourages people from 
young artists, there are a number of quite young artists um, just making their way in the world of art, um, amateur emerging artists and then more experienced professional artists entering. And um, just good to see everyone having a go and being encouraged and feeling that there's a place for them uh, and that their work will be welcomed as it is. So, um, in the judging process, I'm guided by four main criteria. The first one is originality and creativity. We're looking for something that's personal uh, to the artist and that's not something that they've copied or been inspired by someone else. The second one is aesthetic quality, visual impact of the work. The third one is the conceptual interest and the relevance of the theme intellectually. The fourth one is the technical skill in the handling of the medium and the materials um, and composition and so on. Another way of putting that, I suppose, is that we're looking for artworks that appeal to the head, give us something to think about, appeal to the eye and the senses, our tactile sense, our visual sense, appeal to the heart, touch our emotions, and uh, if you can do something in a number of those areas, you're doing well, and if you can do something in all of those areas, then you're probably a winner. Now, to go to our actual winners, in section one, easel paintings, the Helmut Breckbolt Award, sponsored by Gladstone Picture Framing and Art Materials, goes to Genevieve Verity Armero, for her portrait, Lara. An interesting play of light and shadow falls across the subject Lara, whose vivid blue eyes also draw our attention. This confidently painted work suggests that this young artist has a bright future. Still in this section, the Gladstone Regional Council Award goes to Andrea Chapman for her painting, The Race Plan. <laughs> Andrea's lively yacht scene is thoughtfully composed and executed in an energetic and colourful manner entirely suited to the subject. The winner of this section, Easel Paintings, sponsored by the Gladstone Area Water Board, is Sue Yee Clifford for her small painting, Harbour City. <laughs> Sue Yee's picture is a very subtle and personal study of Gladstone, but really it's a painting that's about light. She has very deftly employed a restricted colour palette and the contrast of strict geometric shapes of building structures and roofs against the looser and freely brushed organic forms of vegetation, sea and sky, creates attention and gives the painting much appeal. Section two is for works on paper and the Creative Gladstone Region Incorporation Award uh, goes to Victoria Cooper for her small artist book, Being Present, and this is an illustration from that. <laughs> Victoria's uh, little book is beautifully designed and its semi-abstracted examination of trees and poetic text asks us to consider wider cosmic questions. A fair bit of paper to shuffle around here. Still in section two, works on paper, the Natalia Musket Award goes to Carmen Beasley Drake for her watercolour and collage work, Outback Road. <laughs> Carmen's work has an immediate impact through its intense colour and description of the immense space of the outback dwarfing the tiny cars and kangaroos inhabiting the road and along the edges of the road.
in section two, the Australian Pacific LNG Award goes to Doug Spowart for his artist book, Home. This small book contains a masterly series of photographs contemplating self and the concepts of home and human vulnerability, the human figure merging into environmental images that hover between representation and abstraction. We now turn to section three, three-dimensional and fibre works, and the CQ University Award goes to Andrea Pereira for her ceramic sculpture, Persephone. A very sensuous interpretation of the eternal female of the ancient Greek myth. The classic hits four double C award goes to Jeanette Strudwick for her uh, embroidery fabric piece called Midsummer Meltdown. I thought this was a very inventive and ambitious uh, work, um, a striking and very skillful interpretation in layered and stitched fabric sections of a subject, cars and trucks seen as if from the interior of another car that one would more commonly expect to see painted. A, a very interesting subject for um, a craft artist to tackle. The winner of section three, three dimensional and fibre works, the Queensland Energy Resources QER award is Veronica Zell for her work, uh, Echo Forest, Black Summer. The tragic bushfires earlier this year prompted this dramatic black and white installation. The seemingly scorched pottery and their scroll background combined to make a work that's both contemporary yet timeless, as if it were an ancient civilization's votive offering to its savage gods. We now turn to section four, digital works, and the Crow Street Creative Award goes to Christine Krebs for her photograph, Don't Leave Earth Without It. <laughs> An unusual example of street photography, I'm sure you'll agree. In section four, digital works, the Crow Street Creative Award, oh, I've, sorry, I've said that. The Southern Cross Osterio Award goes to Emma Thorpe for her digital animation entitled Nought to Ten. <laughs> this is um, a work that really rewards um, watching. It's a, a very moving account of raising a child with special needs and the heartbreaking subject matter is rendered in an arresting graphic style, creating a tension between the subject and the way it's been depicted. The winner of section four digital works, the New Print HRG Award, is Luke Graham and his short film, Chasing Gold. Crew and actors seem to have enjoyed making this droll and engaging account of a gaggle of minor characters with major obsessions of winning and losing, ageing and connecting to others. It certainly is a lot of fun for the viewer, not the least of which I think is noting the Gladstone locales. I hope Luke continues to make such entertaining films set in this region. The Installer's Choice Award, sponsored by Laureen Chakjic, uh, goes to Andrea Farrow for her sculpture, Plucky Pelicans. <laughs> the 
The Gail Sellers Local Artist Award goes to Irene Sparks for her lovely watercolour, After the Rain. <laughs> Birds and plant life flourish alongside a bubbling stream in this attractive and technically very accomplished watercolour. The local Murray Artist Award, sponsored by Elizabeth and Leo Zasino, goes to Wendy McNeil for her painting Carnival of Flowers. <laughs> An idyllic landscape of native trees and shrubs rendered with exquisite detail. The Peter Groen Int Wood Memorial Young Emerging Artist Award, sponsored by Multitrade, this year goes to Katie Hovelrood for her watercolour, Plants and Humans. Like a scene from the tales of the Arabian Nights, Katie transports us to a delightful imaginary world of birds, animals and happy girls in a tropical paradise. A very accomplished and inventive work by a promising young artist. I was so glad to see that um, Gladstone had established the Pamela Whitlock Memorial Award. I knew uh, Pamela for decades, really. I knew her in Brisbane when she was working for the Brisbane City Gallery and Museum. And I think, really, uh, she dedicated decades of her life to Gladstone. The, this gallery was um, the heart of her life in her later years. And I'm very touched and pleased that you've done this. So the Pamela Whitlock Memorial Acquisitive Award, sponsored by Gladstone Regional Council, goes to Elena Churilova for her oil painting, Wild Swans, Bejewel Weir. <laughs> the blackbirds burst like gun smoke across this vivid impressionistic scene. It is technically accomplished, particularly in the rendering of the weir, the reflected clouds of the surface, a bird churning the water as it takes off, and the transparent depths below the water lilies. It's also an uplifting work, celebrating the wild beauty that we are so fortunate to be able to access in this region. Finally, it's my pleasure to announce that the 45th Rio Tinto Martin Hansel Memorial Art Award for 2020 goes to Marlies Oakley for her collage work, Physical Distancing. Our world has been turned upside down this year, as Marley suggests in her original and apposite interpretation of the impact of the global pandemic. It is a work with a strong visual impact and a wealth of intricate detail that invites close inspection. The individual elements, cutouts from printed, apparently vintage sources, have been judiciously chosen to offer both contrast with each other and yet to also blend into a cohesive whole. The hand cutting and assembling of this work no doubt was a time consuming process and the theme is ultimately sobering. But the work has small touches of humour throughout and it reminds us of thoughts of earlier good times which we hope will return. We certainly do hope that, don't we? So thank you all very much. Thanks very much for that, uh, Sue. We all understand how difficult it can be in being a judge because at the end of the day, you have to make a decision. And uh, the announcement of the winners tonight, I have no doubt, is creating that level of celebration here and, and in the virtual world. But at the same time, I believe uh, from our earlier discussions today, 
They're all winners because they're all participating. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please show your greatest appreciation again to our 2020 judge, Mrs. Sue Smith. Thank you. And Sue, if you could stay around afterwards so that we get some photographs taken with the major sponsors and other sponsors, etc., etc. Thank you for that. I've got no doubts that there's celebrations that are occurring out there in the virtual world, probably hearing the corks popping or the yahooing that's going on. But at the end of the day, uh, we want to ensure that this prestigious event continues and the challenge that we had. So I express a greatest appreciation to thank each and every one of you for being able to attend here tonight and those out in the virtual world for their keen interest. We should be extremely proud and honoured that we have a wonderful uh, community of art, not only in Gladstone region but central Queensland and throughout Australia. I'd like to take the opportunity again on behalf of the Gladstone Regional Council our wonderful people here at the Art Gallery and Museum and all those uh, involved in the industry of the arts, of the various broad aspects of the arts, to thank you, Sue, immensely and, uh, and best wishes for the future in your continued involvement. We thank our sponsors, Rio Tinto, Alcan, all the list of sponsors that have been highlighted tonight by our judge and by our deputy mayor as well. We congratulate the, uh, the winning artists and, uh, and further to that now, can I just remind everyone, please, everyone, it's important, and I know that uh, the General Manager, Mark Gilmore, indicated this again, that QAL is a major sponsor for the people's choice. So while we've had the prestige announcement tonight from the expertise, the qualified person, the people get the opportunity to make their uh, decision on what they believe is the choice for the Martin Hansen annual awards. So the voting kiosks are open until 5pm Thursday the 26th of November. So please note that. Those that are here this evening and have had that uh, uh, fortunate opportunity to be here, please take the time to fill out uh, your choice on what you'd like with that QAL um, entry. And those in the virtual world, I'll make a few comments here now, please, with uh, your permission. The exhibition of all entries will be on display until 5 p.m. Saturday, 30th of January. That's next year, next year, 2021, which will be a great year, 2021. But it'll be right here at the gallery and also on our Council's Conversations platform in the near future, along with the virtual tour of the exhibition. I'd also advise that there are souvenir catalogues that are available from the front counter for $10 each with the original artworks by our local artists. Upon anyone visiting our gallery, a price list is available for these exhibited works and there is uh, one copy of the artist statements book available at the front desk for any visitors for ready access. And this facility here uh, is something that we're extremely proud of, uh, thanks to those in the past that had the vision and when we hear about industry, and I acknowledge Leo Cezino here tonight, the reality of it is, is that visions and dreams do come true, but you need champions who carry the baton to go forward to make sure that those visions and those dreams become a reality for our community. That effectively concludes the formalities for the evening. Can I thank again the many live stream viewers and invite the community to attend our art gallery and museum to view this year's exhibition at your convenience. Thank you to each and every one of you for your part with art. Thank you for that.